everybody, and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. In the last uh, tutorial, we left off working on this content area down here. So let's go ahead and just continue along with that. So what I'm going to do is, um, this text is bothering me, it's a little bit too long of lines. So we wasted a little bit of time by uh, duplicating this so many times. But I'm going to delete it, it's going to be better in the end. And I'm going to scale this in just a little bit something like that and then delete that long word I can't pronounce and um, let's just scale this in and let's not duplicate it yet let's make sure we're happy with it so we don't waste any more time so what I'm going to do is double click this and this is the sidebar wait first let's make the opacity 100 double click and do a color overlay and I'm going to grab a uh, just a light blue color Uh, at least it's kind of like the blue up here. It might be too dark, but let's just let's just play with it. Let's see how it goes. Um, for this content area, I'm glad we didn't duplicate it. I'm going to drag uh, this box in slightly, just so it's gapping away from those icons just slightly. And when you have that, what I want to do is grab this this uh, logo right there. Middle image logo. So I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm just going to drag it up. That later. So what I want to do is drag this down and grab my pen tool and just delete this bottom shadow. I'm not going to be too precise with it, just something like that. Make a selection and then delete. I haven't tried this out so this might uh, turn out bad. So let's go to image, adjustment, um, human saturation. And I'm going to bring the saturation to uh, 100 and then I don't know, let's try something like that. See how that looks. And we're going to drag it down here and then transform it, scale it down. Something small like that. And that's going to be the little icon that's going to be next to the words, something like um, and let's make the font size 18 and we'll make it bold and let's grab this blue color and make the text a dark blue alright so let's copy that color copy it and I don't know if we'll need it later but I like to copy that text or I mean the color and we'll slap this about right here and this icon might need to be a little bit smaller. Okay, looking good. Alright, so let's double click this. And we are going to go to Drop Shadow. And we're going to do pretty much the text shadow that we did above. But um, we're going to do it as white. This is going to be normal. Spread is 100. And this, 0. And let's see if we can, uh, what it looks like, change this to like 80. Um, yeah, let's go with 80. Alright, so uh, just a slight text shadow. And then um, under here, we're going to have our posts. So let's create a new layer. Let's go to uh, rounded, rounded rectangle. I'm going to keep it 5 pixels. And I'm go going to draw out a box, something like that. And the color is going to be white. And let's uh, grab our pen tool, create a new layer, and then we're just going to draw out like a curve here. Hold down Alt and draw that. So it's just the you know the talking portion of a bubble. Double click, make it white. Very nice, very nice. And let's center that just by eye, and then create a new layer. And this is going to be the text on the inside. So just draw something out like this. And let's see. If, nope, that's our color. Uh, hold on one second. Let's grab this text here. Copy it. And then draw this. Draw this out there. Paste it. Alright, now we're back in business. I'm going a little slow, but that's alright. 
Um, let's zoom out and see what that's looking like. Pretty good. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And let's call this live Twitter feed. And it's going to be Twitter instead of a blog. So that would explain the speech bubble. And then we can, uh, let's take this color and we're going to type here um, at, I don't know, pixel for life. Let's just use that for now. And we're going to change this font size to smaller. And that's going to be kind of like who said that uh, that speech, you know, the text, the Twitter name thingy-mabop. All right. So when we have that, um, let's just scale this, make this a little bit smaller. Bring it up. Zoom in. Grab this. Whatever. You can mess with it on your own. Make it look better than what I did. All right. So when we have that we can uh, zoom out and let's give this that same kind of uh, text shadow so I think that worked oops wrong layer alright so we have that and I'm going to make the shadow just a little bit uh, less opaque less opacity alright so when we have that we can bring it up and then grab the whole thing, group it, and duplicate it. And can we fit a third? No, let's just keep it at two. Bring this down, bring this down. <laughs> okay, so this background we're gonna make it just a bit smaller. Like that like that. Alright, so let's go back over to this content here and actually let's group this, all of this together just to stay neat. Group it and we'll call this Twitter feed and let's scale this in slightly on this left side here and this logo, let's bring this to the right alright, so let's go over to this content here and duplicate this down two, three. Let's hope we don't have to do this again. Alright, so let's line it up a little bit better. Something like this. Again, just playing it by eye. It doesn't have to be too perfect in the design because once you start coding it, you'll line it up with your code. So let's close this up. Zoom out. And one thing I wanted to do, since this is looking nice, I want to change this uh, text in this blue area. I want to click on this. I'm going to make this this font size larger. I'm going to make it about 28. That looks good. And then highlight that spacer that we made. And we're going to make that space just a little bit wider. Something like that. Um, you know, let's uh, change this back to auto so we don't have to worry about it. And let's bring it up. And let's make a, uh, a spacer line here. I like spacing lines. So we're going to grab the uh, white tool, the white uh, color for your foreground, and the pencil tool. So draw out a line here. And we'll stop at about right there. Zoom in. Alt and Shift and click up to make a new one and then Apple I to convert it to black and we'll lower that opacity lower this opacity and this one can go down even more all righty so let's group that together and we'll call that spacer line let's scale it into about let's go to about there is to keep it all uniform all right so I'm going to stop it there. We're at about nine minutes. And next time we're going to uh, finish up the footer. Well, start the footer and finish it. And then we will uh, just look around and see what else we need to work on and make it a little bit nicer looking like uh, this box here. We'll pro probably make it a tad bit shorter so the text is centered in it. 
and then align these a little bit better to the top. So thank you guys for watching and please remember to rate and subscribe and if you have any questions about web design or coding or anything just send me a private message and I'll do my best to answer and help whatever questions you have. Thanks for watching and see you next time.